What is going on, everybody? How you doing today? My name is Jim Games, and I react to videos on the internet. And in today's video, I will be reacting to how the Dutch view themselves. So in my previous video, I did a video on uh, how the Dutch view Americans. And people of Amsterdam kind of ripped Americans apart with talking about how fat we are, how overly patriotic we are, how our guns, our healthcare systems, all sorts of things, all sorts of crazy stereotypes about America. Uh, it was a fun video. It was an eye-opening video. But I'm really curious to know, how do the Dutch see themselves? What sort of stereotypes do you guys have? Because I don't know of any Dutch stereotypes, but I would like to. If you know of any Dutch stereotypes that are not listed in this video, uh, please post it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, it'd mean a lot to me. In fact, before we get started, I want to tell you about a couple links I got down in the description section. Uh, real quick, one is the community Discord. If you want to get in touch with me or uh, the community members on this channel, that's the best way to do it. Get an idea of what's going on with the channel. Get involved. Be a part of this whole machine. Check out the Discord. Uh, also, I do have my Twitch link down there as well. If you want to catch out a live reaction show, that's the best way to do it. Link is in the description. All right, let's uh, switch screens and let's get right on into this. This should be a fun one. How the Dutch view themselves. Dutch versus Dutch in Amsterdam. Let's check it out. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, hit this button. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, yeah. But you can like and subscribe too. That's probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Hi, my name is Jaffa, and when you think of the Dutch, what do you think? To all Europeans that just ride bikes with joints in each hand. The city where you'll get so stoned that you go Dutch on your own meal. But these could just be stereotypes. So I kind of do. I kind of do have that stereotype. I'm just I'm envisioning people of Amsterdam just tooling around on a bicycle, a couple joints in hand, stopping in the red lights district, and just kind of like... I. It... it Amsterdam, to me, growing up, and, and what this place was and what it meant before marijuana was legalized, where I'm from, and all that stuff, this was a place for us to go to kind of go and party, to smoke weed on the reg in front of everybody, uh, to do, you know, those sort of things. Um, and then, obviously, prostitution, I know, is legal over there. Um, I don't know. None of my friends have admitted to me that they've gone to a prostitute. I'm sure one or two of them probably have. Uh, but I know a bunch of people that have gone over to Amsterdam, and that's what I hear. I hear it's a place to party. Uh, but, I mean, the visuals that I'm getting from this guy's video here, I mean, this just looks incredibly charming. I mean, look at this gorgeous river, uh, these, like, really nice boats, some awesome, like, architecture going around, some beautiful, vibrant colors of the city, people riding around on bikes. Everything seems super friendly. So, uh, from what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, are they're two drastic different things. Uh, but let's continue here. Now we leave it up to the Dutch to describe the people that they know best. Yes. The tourists. I mean, the Dutch. Oh. So how did the Dutch view themselves as a people? Like, so the Dutch had to describe other Dutch people. Well, I think blunt and really loud also, but in a different cut different way, I think. Yes. They're like kind of, I don't know, like, I don't know how you say that. Like, they're like kind of lump. You say lump? Um, I don't know. Lump? <laughs> They're like not that elegant. They're just a little bit sloppy. <laughs> ah, she's calling you out. She's calling you out. This lady here from Amsterdam is saying that y'all sloppy. Y'all be sloppy out there. Um, I don't know. I disagree. I mean, even just like the way that these two are dressed, like compared to American standards, if I was to ask a random person in New York City or Boston where I'm from, uh, they might not be dressed this nice. They might just have jeans and a t-shirt on. I mean, she's got like this nice sweater. She's like done up with like a collar and whatnot. Like they, their hair's done. Like... I don't know. I don't know if sloppy is the right way to describe what they are. Sloppy. Yes. <laughs> well, in regards to what, like sloppy, like. Like when you meet them, when you meet American, they're like, "Oh, nice to meet you." When you meet a Dutch person, they're like, "Hi, I'm the and that's it." Oh. It's not like, "Oh, nice to meet you" or anything. It's just. That could go back to the Americans being fake, though, because in the previous video, they interviewed this exact girl who said that Americans were fake. Um, but yeah, I guess Americans come in and maybe we're a little bit more uh, in embracive than the Dutch people. I don't know. They seem to just shake their hand and say, hello, my name is Jim. And then wait for the conversation to continue. Whereas if you were in America, it'd be like, what's up, homeboy? What's going on? Pound the fist, make it explode. All that fun jazz. I don't know if that's still a thing. Uh, but apparently they're a little bit more animated in America. Uh, they seem a little bit more um, just straight to the point in, 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 in Amsterdam, I guess. Hi, this is my name. And so you don't they, have they don't to seem that open that's it. to meet other people. Yes. You're welcome. Yes, I really think so. Here's yes, my name. For us, Enjoy. Because we're so calm. calm. <laughs> like, oh, love to meet you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> like that kind of thing. It's like you see in the Netherlands, we don't do that type of things. We just 
just keep it calm and just so, okay, yeah, you guys just keep things calm. Like, I, I wonder if she's talking about just strangers in general or just embraces amongst friends. Um, she was talking about, oh, hey, how you doing? What's, what's, go what's going on? What's been happening? I think she was talking about Americans or people that just aren't from this area. Uh, but even with friends, like, if you were to meet up for drinks with friends, would you would you embrace them? Would you like, hey, Gary, come on in. And they're like, oh, you know, it's Claire and all that. Are you guys like that? Or is it all just like, the Piers Gary's here. Fantastic. Ah, Claire has arrived. That's another person. I don't know. Maybe I'm blowing things out of the water. But that's kind of like what I'm getting from this this girl. Just on a distance. <laughs> but in America, it comes really close to you, I think. The Dutch people view themselves as a people. We obviously have the stereotypes as well with the weed and the cheese and the wooden shoes. But I think uh, we, we are really judging. I think we can be quite judging. Oh. Uh, that's, that's, I think that's a stereotype. We're really down-to-earth people. We're really blunt as well. Uh, I think okay. most of the Dutch people are really uh, out there. If there is something they don't like, they will tell you right away uh, what they don't like. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that from some of the comments I've gotten. Um, I guess I can agree with that. Uh, the Dutch people are blunt. They get right to the point, uh, and they kind of tell you how they feel. Uh, and if you're doing something they don't like, they are not afraid to tell you that. Um, I can attest to that. 99.9% .9 of the people in my comments are pretty chill, cool people that want to share some information with me uh, and expand my mind. Um, and it's an incredibly kind and cool thing to do. But every once in a while, I get some people that come through and will just factually say, no, that fact is wrong. This is the right way to do it. And it's a very a matter of a factly. It's not like a rude way of doing it. It's just they like to get to the point. They like to get to the meat and potatoes of what's going on, get to the bottom of it, and then get some sort of actual answer from it all. Uh, they're very practical people. At least that I've encountered so far. No, I don't like no, this weed no, a bit. But the same in a conversation, for example. I find it really rude, or I don't like you, or the, the, we, we're really... You'll just uh, say that? Uh, uh, direct people. So. You'll just say that? You're having a conversation? You're just having a conversation with, with Gary? He comes in the bar? Gary, I don't like you. I don't think what you're saying is interesting. Let's talk to Claire. No, I, is, that, is that the way it is? Are you guys that blunt to the point where it's just like, it's almost cold? I don't know. I guess I've never really had like a full on conversation uh, with a Dutch person like, you know, on the phone or face to face. So I'd be I'd be interested to find that out. So uh, how, how do the Dutch people view themselves as a people? In yeah. my case, I can say about the opposite uh, of what I just told you about the Americans. We are, we think we are very social. Uh, we have we have like the I don't know the, the polar model. If you heard of it, is it's because oh it's, it's it's a small country with a lot of people in it or on a on a small area of land. Uh -huh. We have to, uh, uh, stick together. Uh, yeah, we have to seek uh, compromises everywhere uh -huh. because, uh, yeah, you cannot do what you want because then there's always one, someone who wants it a little bit different and then you have to seek for the compromise. Interesting. So I wonder if that's, they're basically saying that it's a smaller area, so you have to find more ways to compromise. Uh, whereas, you know, what he was talking about with America in the previous video. It's much larger and more spread out and, and more people by volume. Um, so it, it's more like that's just the way it goes. Uh, it seems here there's more of a sense of uh, at least a sense of community uh, and, and looking out for one another and a general sense of well-being you want for even strangers around you. So and that's, 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 that's not one issue that's basically everything in, in, in Holland, is, uh, in the Netherlands, goes like that. M most of us are quite proud or getting more proud huh. nowadays because uh, we haven't really been that proud uh, in, in previous decennia. For example, we uh, on school we learn like three different languages just on high school and on elementary school. On the other hand... Uh, That's impressive. That's impressive. Um, you know, we have electives and things like that here in America too where we could take Spanish or something. Um, and, you know, but Th that's pretty much i mean there's other languages you can take obviously and electives you can do uh but i mean they're saying by the time they're reaching high school like a lot of these people are speaking three languages and by the time most americans reach high school i guarantee a massive number a massive percentage of us i'd say conservatively 80 percent of us are still only speaking english and barely even doing that so uh, that's, yeah, I, I'd go, I'd say those numbers and the numbers probably even higher. Uh, so props to them for being able to speak so many languages and, and being so fluent and whatnot. Um, also he mentioned that you guys are starting to become more patriotic, a little bit more proud. Uh, and he mentioned that he wasn't proud in the previous years. Um, I wonder what has happened as to why Dutch people are more proud now and why you wouldn't be proud, uh, in previous years. What, what, what sort of, what sort of skeleton you got in your closet there? What's going on? Why aren't you proud? 
Uh, other languages don't really get any Dutch culture or language with them. So I think most of the Dutch uh, can be quite proud, uh, proud people. We find ourselves really smart. Not that we are, but I think a lot of Dutch compare themselves more smart than other people. Why, okay. why is that? Yeah, I, th I think, I'm, I'm not sure why it is. I think because we compare our uh, educational system uh, uh, with other people. I think it's because, yeah, most of the social media about other countries is really why we shouldn't like him or so, yeah. why something's wrong, why we are uh, uh, yeah, quite Yeah, there's good. nothing bad to say about Amsterdam, no. really. But how, how about the Dutch? So, like, how, how do the Dutch people view themselves as a people? Like, down to earth, you know, the Dutch people, they find themselves, like, down to earth. We see ourselves kind of as a free country. Everything's well organized, mm -hmm. super organized. Yeah. And, you know, you're allowed to smoke weed, and, and so that's, that's a kind of privilege we're we're proud of you know because yeah, yeah they're not they're not as 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 narrow-minded as some countries that they you know forbid everything and so it's it's kind of open openish right cultural yeah so it's kind of like the vegas of europe right people come here for the weekend and get crazy oh in amsterdam for sure man yeah, oh, i don't even amsterdam, think about that they come here they get stoned they get drunk they yeah they, they, <laughs> get, tired, they get fucked up and yeah Amsterdam is the Vegas of Europe. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. That's uh, it's, it's, it's perfect. That's a perfect way of describing it from uh, how I've heard it being described from now this gentleman from Amsterdam and now my friends that have traveled uh, to Amsterdam. They, they tell me it's just, a, it's a giant party. They tell me it's beautiful and it's a giant party. Um, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so this is like, you know, what happens in Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam, correct? For sure, man. Is that, is that the slogan? <laughs> they are rude. They are, they are not able to flirt. They oh. are not able to date. They are also not that. Oh, she's, she's straight up throwing fire at y'all here. They are rude. They are not able to date. In Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam, correct? For sure, man. Is that, is that the slogan? <laughs> oh. They are rude. They are, they are not able to flirt. <laughs> they are not able to date. You can't flirt. You're rude. You can't date. Wow. This lady has got some issues with the people of Amsterdam. Um, I mean, she's got a kid. So, I mean, I'm assuming she hooked up with somebody. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> She does. She uh. She is very opinionated on the people of Amsterdam. She was nicer to the Americans. They are also not that uh, libertine as they. As they say. No, 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 no. Huh. Why is that? Because they have a judgment. Uh, there is this Calvinistic um, stamp in them. Interesting. Okay, so this is the second time I've heard that the Dutch people are uh, judgmental. Um, interesting. I've never heard that stereotype before. Uh, but I mean, he is able to pick up random strangers and they'll give him the time of the day and tell people their thoughts on things. Um, you know, I mean, this lady's holding a baby, you know, here in America, like if someone's to approach you with a microphone and a camera, nine times out of 10, they're going to push the camera out of the way. And they're going to keep walking. We get shit to do. We got stuff to, to do Like we don't know what this is. Uh, but these people seem to be stopping and, and having a polite conversation about their feelings and thoughts. When they're asked about them, they do. They go into detail about them. So maybe they are just opinionated. Or maybe they're just happy to talk. But this lady. Somebody hurt this lady. Which is judgmental uh, to what is different. To what is not common. To what is coming, rising up from the average. So that they have an opinion about. How did the Dutch people view themselves as a people? Stingy. Uh, the fact that you don't really want to st stick your head out. Um, yeah. You don't want to be above average or like excel in yeah. something because like we like average. We like normal. We like... Yeah, exactly. Interesting. I think, um, our, our, yeah, the irony is that called embarrassment of riches. Uh -huh. And I think that's exactly what um, Distinguishes Dutch culture from the rest of Europe, from Germany and from France. When you drive, that is so different. That is so, so very different than how things are here in America, where it's we are chasing that dollar. We are constantly trying to flaunt our wealth. My car is bigger than your car. My house is bigger than your house. My grass is greener than my neighbor's grass. I have the best of everything. We're constantly trying to claw our way up to the top and make it at least look like we have the best of the best. Um, you know, every photo on, on social media is us smiling in some grandiose vacation or awesome spot or, or, or something like that. Like it's all this fabrication to make everybody think that we're all super happy, super wealthy and doing really really well in life um and it's interesting to me to find out that you guys basically kind of look down on that you look at that as like oh well that's kind of gross you know that's kind of i don't know it's it seems like it's it's too much like you'd rather just celebrate the 
I don't want to say mediocrity, but like celebrate just the normal, you know, like if you're too much of a showboater, you're driving around in this massive car with all the bells and whistles on it. And you're, you got, you know, the, the $5,000 jacket and the, the sneakers and the, the Yeezys or whatever. Like, I, I think in America, that's something to be kind of celebrated where we'll look at that person like, oh, they must be really successful. I'm going to follow that guy and figure out what his system is so I can be that it's successful. That's kind of the way we think because we all want to get up to that point of, you know, endless money and whatever. But sadly, we just don't. And in, in, mo and in most cases, everything here is honestly just kind of a fabrication to make you think that we're that happy or that we are that rich. We're, we're really not. Um so it, it's funny to hear them talk about like, okay, well, you guys like celebrate wealth and celebrate these sort of things. And here it's kind of looked down. It's kind of like showboating. It's like, oh, gross. You got to really like, it, to me, it reminds me of like, you guys look at people that have a lot of wealth and are showboating as kind of like this guy that goes into a bar and is trying too hard to like pick up this girl. And she just does not want to give him the time of the day because he's just over flamboyant, over showboating stuff. And it just doesn't seem like he's worth her time. Um, and that's kind of the attitude I kind of get. Um, it, it's interesting though. It's interesting. You guys have like more of like a, a down to earth collective, like mindset than, you know, an individual clawing for the top, like the rest of the world does. Um, I think it's something to take note of. It's pretty cool. I'm on the, on the wrong side with the bike. They would say, you are not doing the right stuff. Uh, uh, even when you are biking, they say, okay, sorry, you know, <laughs> I made a mistake. So they are open. Yes. Yeah, still a certain level. She's talking about them being blunt. Uh, they are not really helpful i think to uh, again they, they welcome you but you have to do it on your own it's pretty individualistic as a country if you compare it to mediterranean country or like south american that's that's a big difference i think most of the dutch people and i'm talking about the the the, the bigger part of holland are really blind to those things. Holland is really good. Uh, Amsterdam is our uh, capital city, and uh, yeah, they're, 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 for example, they're really trying to work out the image we they have. Quite a lot of investments going to get Amsterdam sort of proper again with all the coffee, with the seven coffee shops in this street, for example. We already have seven in this street. How did the Dutch people view themselves as a people? How did the Dutch view the Dutch? There is a tendency to think. There was a tendency, I should say, to think that were very open-minded and tolerant uh, and slowly and slowly there is I think the beginning of an understanding that that might not be the case that we oh. want to believe that we're very open-minded and tolerant some people feel that things have changed so much in the past few years and become very much inward looking and, and those kind of things but I think uh, we maybe went through a stage where we were slightly more tolerant and, and open-minded. Uh, yeah, we're like... I wonder what has changed in the past couple of years. He's talking about like some sort of major shift that happened in the past couple of years where people's like just general thoughts have kind of changed uh, with, with tolerance goes. Um, I, I'm wondering, does that make them more woke, less woke? Is, is woke even the right word? Is that what they're talking about? Are they talking about like racial divides and things like that? Are they talking about, you know, like environmental stuff? I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but some sort of issue seemed to have happened in the last couple of years, uh, where it seems like some of these guys are a little uneasy about talking about pride, um, uh, of Amsterdam or just uh, pride in Dutch in general pro fair and equal distribution of pretty much everything so and that's also very positive so like education is very accessible for everyone uh, i think participating in like everyday life is made accessible because we think that there shouldn't be such extreme like uh, extreme riches and extreme poverty so i think and that's also a way of being like it's a way of fairness or looking at distribution in a fair way um I like that girl. Um, oh, what the hell just happened? Hold on, I gotta go back here. Was that the end of the video? Really? We maybe went through a stage where we were Hold made on. accessible because we think that there shouldn't be such extreme, like uh, extreme riches and extreme poverty. So I think, and that's also a way of being like, it's a way of fairness or looking at distribution in a fair way. Uh, yeah, okay. So the video just ended right there. Um, 
Okay, I, I can I can totally see that. Um, I like this girl. I really like her girl. I like her. I like what she had to say about the Americans, and now what she's saying about uh, the Dutch in general. She seems uh, very smart. Like she's got a good head on her shoulders. Um, yeah, I guess maybe you look at things with a more pers fair perspective. You know, there should be no crazy extremes. The crazy extreme of the super wealthy, or the crazy extreme of the person that's just like can barely get by and keep food in their stomach, and you know, it doesn't have a home. Like there should be no crazy extremes. Like at this point, let's just like even the playing field give everybody a fair shot at school and and healthcare and and let them possibly be the best that they can be and it seems like that's what you guys are kind of doing um it, for the most part it does it seems like some of these stereotypes seem kind of true on my first experience of listening to people talk about Amsterdam or and being from Amsterdam and stuff like that, there is a certain bluntness to things. Uh, some of the pleasantries are thrown out the window. Um, there's no, oh, hey, how you doing? There's no this big giant show. Uh, it does seem to be more of like, okay, here's the information. Here's what we're for. Like they're very, they're very detail oriented and getting the task done. Uh, same thing with the Germans too. Um, but at the same time, they do want to keep things fair. They do want to keep things kind of healthy and environmentally conscious. Um, I've got a tremendous amount of respect for these people uh, and what they do. And I, you know, I think I've always have, you know, uh, since I remember being in high school and, and hearing my friends that went over to Amsterdam to essentially just smoke pot. Um, but, you know, back that was back in the day when, like, weed wasn't legal here, you know, and it was it was a massive deal and it was awesome. And I asked him, I said, hey, what was it like, you know, just going into a shop and, you know, getting a joint or a bong or something? And he's like, dude, it was awesome. He's like, but, like, the thrill of it went away after a day. He's like, this should just be like this everywhere. Like, it just makes no sense. Um, and now it's kind of getting to that point where it is. Um, but I don't think weed has a whole lot to do with it. I think people are realizing that there's marijuana might not be as dangerous as we all thought it was at one point. Um but it seems like you guys are very level-headed, down-to-earth, uh, very clear, uh, but very blunt at the same time. Uh, and it seems like a very beautiful city to, to visit, so I can't wait to someday. Guys, if you enjoyed your time with me today, please consider liking and subscribing. I do this sort of thing all the time, and I'd love to have you here with me. But that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to catch you out on the next video. Have a great day, everyone.